back live from the Monkey House, and we are joined once again by Reese Sizenator, everyone. Look at this invention! That's right, it's Reese Sizenator. Now, Reese Sizenator does sort of resemble a trash compactor, like you might find in your kitchen, but don't worry. Nothing will be trashed or compacted over the course of today's show, I promise you. We are simply going to take any item that you bring to the Monkey House and resize it to your heart's content. Now, why would you want to resize something? I, I don't know, maybe you went to a birthday party and you were served a slice of cake, but it wasn't a very big slice of cake. Well, Resizinator could take care of that. Resizinator simply could enlarge your cake slice so that it's more cake than you could ever possibly imagine. Oh, great. Now I'm hungry. Oh, why do I always do this? Let's meet our next resizer now. Give it up, Ivanki Dodds, for Arthur! Hello, Arthur. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. Okay, so moments ago, Roman in West Virginia had a problem. Uh, those cats are full size, and Roman really missed when those cats were kittens. But what about going the other way? You could take house cats and turn them into tigers or lions. Which way would you rather go, Arthur? Would you rather have kittens in the house or ferocious, uh, uh, hungry, carniv carnivorous lions? What do you think? Well, actually, my dad's allergic to cats, so I wouldn't be allowed to have either. But if I was allowed to have cats in the house, probably I'd wish, like, regular-sized kittens. Uh, oh, kittens, okay. I mean, the nice thing about the resizinator is maybe you could make the cat small enough that they would no longer be uh, allergic reactions to your dad. Like, if they're really small, you know, he could just breathe them in and out, and his immune system would never even be affected by them. Don't you think? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll test the science on that. But in the meantime, Arthur, I know you didn't come in here to make your dad have an allergic reaction. What did you come in here to resize? My game time for my tablet. Oh, oh, okay, this is interesting. Okay, so you've got a tablet um, where you play uh, video games, as the kids say, and you would like to resize the amount of time, your game time, that you're allowed to play video games there on your tablet. Do I understand correctly, Arthur? Yeah. I like that. So this is not really a thing that you're resizing. It's more of a concept. The concept of game time you want to resize that. And my guess is, uh, let me just take a stab here before you reveal it, Arthur. I think you're worried about your, um, your brain rotting away and you feel like you've been spending too much time on screens, so you would like to shorten your amount of game time so that you can spend more time outside in the fresh air doing good things like digging and walking great distances and uh, things like that, exercising. Do I understand correctly, Arthur? Is that what you're hoping to do? Well, not exactly. I was thinking more of, um, I could make it bigger so I could get better than my friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So wait, so you're a kid, uh, and your goal is to increase the amount of screen time that you have on your tablet. That's the scenario, Arthur? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I would say this is a pretty common scenario. This is from coast to coast, all over North America. There are people like you. Uh, looking any way that they can, by hook or by crook, they're trying to figure out a way <laughs> that they can increase game time. I mean, they're trying bribery. They're trying to do exchanges around the house, you know, doing extra chores in return for game time. But you've decided to turn to technology. Uh, so how much uh, screen time do you want, Arthur? Well, I don't know. Probably, I don't know. Well, I mean, I have to end at 8.30 but I can't start till 6, so probably from whenever I'm done the school till like 8.30 or something like that. Wow. Okay, so, and wait, and you finish school um, at what time, Arthur? Well, it kind of varies because I'm homeschooled. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's real. it just comes down to when you get the work done. So if you have like a, what, like a really productive day where you're getting everything done very quickly, you're, you're just knocking everything out, what's the earliest that you might get done? Well, usually we save some of the reading that my mom has to do until, like, the, like around 5, so probably the, the earliest would be, like, maybe around 4 or 5. Okay, four, let's just, hey, for the purposes of uh, Resizinator, let's just say 4. I mean, let's say it's, like, a really solid day. You, you and your mom have just been just chugging away at all those to-do lists on your, uh, or items on your to-do list, and then at 4 o'clock, you're home free. 
Your goal is to be able to spend the next four and a half hours on concentrated, uninterrupted game time. Do I understand correctly, Arthur? Yeah. All right, and what are we playing during this four and a half hours? Uh, like a, a rotating cast of games, or is there one game in particular? Well, either probably Minecraft or Geometry Dash. Okay, I'm very familiar with Minecraft. I don't know about Geometry Dash, though. What is that? Um, well, um, probably not everyone knows about it because it costs $2 to buy oh! it. But oh, yikes. Oh, man. That, so that really... Again, if you're playing Minecraft on a computer, it's like 10 and it's, it's 11 times that, so... Oh, wow. Okay, wow. So, I yeah. mean, you're pushing $20 to play Minecraft on a computer, so Geometry Dash is a bargain by comparison. Yeah, and it's probably, I would say, probably more fun because you have more possibilities on what you can do. Oh, very nice. Wait a minute, Arthur, are you employed by the Geometry Dash Corporation? This sounds sort of like sponsored content all of a sudden. Are you, is this a commercial interruption? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I guess you'll find out on payday. We'll see whether Geometry Dash gives you your little stipend for you creating some buzz around the game here at the Bucky House. Okay, so you want to take your standard game time, and you're going to place the concept of game time into the resizinator. You're going to turn the knob toward larger, and you're going to see how big we can make this game time. Do I understand correctly, Arthur? Yeah, but before we do that, can I say one um, little extra thing? Oh, absolutely, sure. Um, I'm a long-time listener. Well, I don't know if I'm a long-time listener. I mean, I've been listening for like four or five months, but um, I'm also a long-time listener, first-time caller. Audience, that means however it goes with Resizinator, Arthur's walking out of here with spatula potential. That's right, Arthur, you just won a spatula prize. That counts, four to five months? Hey, that can feel like a long time here at Live at the Monkey House. <laughs> okay, Arthur, well, go ahead and take the concept of game time and just set it gently here into the resizinator in tray. And then I'll ask you to please turn the knob toward larger and just let us know when you've turned the knob. Okay, got it turned now. Oh, great, and uh, if you clicked it all the way, you should see that that automatically makes the green light start blinking. Do you see the blinking green light, Arthur? Yeah, it's blinking so light, it's hurting my eyes. Oh, yeah, okay, great. Uh, we have uh, an extra step we've just added. You uh, you have to yodel before you hit that button. So go ahead and yodel when you're ready, Arthur. Um, I don't really know how, but I'll try. Yeah, yeah, give it a try. Uh, yeah, I mean, that works for me, sure. We also would have accepted yodel. That would have been fine, too, but, I mean, you really went for broke there. Okay, uh, Arthur, when you're ready... You've uh, turned the knob, you have yodeled, so please let's press that green button and let's see what happens. Oh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, audience, game time has swollen to an impressive six hours long. It worked! We finally invented something that works! Congratulations, Arthur. You've got a long screen time ahead of you. And uh, if anyone calls um, that into question, just say that you've called in to lie for the monkey house and that Jack said it was okay, and we'll just see how far that gets you. Arthur, thanks for calling, buddy. You're welcome. See you later. One more time, audience. Give it up for Arthur in Maryland. <laughs>